Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I would bring you guys along on another item that you can start in January. This is something that a lot of gardeners use to tide themselves over until the garden season comes along. And if you're like me, you may not have known the difference between microgreens and sprouts. And while there are quite a few similarities between the two, there are a couple major differences that I'll point out in this video. But at first I wanted to take you guys through all of the supplies that you're going to need for this adventure. For our microgreens on the right here, we definitely need a source of water. Typically a spray bottle is great to have on hand. We need a seed tray and we need some potting soil. On the left here for our sprout seeds, we have a mason jar, some cheesecloth, and a source of a lot of water. And of course, for both of them, we do have our labeling system here in the center. Of course, you're also going to need seeds. So for our microgreens, we have these so easy seeds. They basically just have a casing on them, as you can see through the little window there, which makes it easier to handle them and it allows the seed to germinate a little bit easier for you. So we have a hot mix and then we have a mild mix. Sprout seeds will actually tell you if they are a sprout. So we have a sandwich booster, which is a mix of seeds, and then we have a pure alfalfa. Let's get started on doing the microgreens first. I have a seed tray that I've given a good wash to. We have some of our potting mix here. And essentially what you wanna do is you want to put in a layer into the pot. Enough that you can get some roots going. Now we'll save some in there for the next step. Make sure everything is flat. And I'm just going to mist the soil just because it's a little bit dry. Adding a bit of moisture will help make contact with the seeds and allow the germination to happen a little bit better. Next, you wanna take your seed packages and there's no specific way to do these. So I'm just going to sprinkle onto about half, here we go. So on this side, we have our mild mix. So I'm gonna put the package there so I remember what side those are on. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the hot mix. With the remaining soil that you have, you want to add a thin layer on top of these. Now try not to move the soil around, especially if you're like me and putting two different varieties in the same package. You wanna ensure the seeds stay where they are for the most part. Making a complete mess. So we can spread this out just a little bit because it did go on pretty thick in some spots. Then all we wanna do is mist everything again making sure that this weighs down the soil and creates some contact with the seeds in there. We wanna put on our humidity dome and grab our labeling system. I always like to make sure that you put your labels on the actual container itself because if you go to remove this lid, you may put it back in the wrong direction. So we're going to put a hot and a mild label on the bottom here. Some of the major differences between the microgreens versus your sprouts are we don't eat the roots of these. That's why they're in a soil medium. They're one that you come and you cut off the leaves and you consume them in that fashion. They also require sunlight. So I'm gonna pick this tray up and put it in the window behind us so it can receive that. And in approximately 10 days, we should be able to trim these off. They take a little bit longer than your sprouts do um, because you are waiting for the plant to germinate and then poke through the soil and be large enough so you can eat them. Another thing I like to do is putting the date. This helps you remember when you planted these, especially if you have multiple things going at once, and it just allows you to track the progress of your growing. 
So for your sprouts, you wanna start with a mason jar. I choose to use a ring, but you can also use a rubber band for this. And what you wanna do is you wanna take your sprout seeds, pour them in the mason jar. You'll see that these ones are not coated. They're just your original sprouts. Then you wanna make sure you cover this with some cheesecloth or some fine mesh. Stretch it across the top of your mason jar and secure it. You wanna first rinse the seeds. So we're gonna take our water here and very carefully pour it into our jar. After you filled it with water, you actually want to drain this. So go to your sink, pour it out and refill it with some fresh water. After you've filled it with some fresh water, you want to put this out of direct sunlight and let this soak for approximately four to eight hours. After your seeds have soaked for the required time, just drain out all of the water. And then I typically just shake the seeds a little bit so they disperse throughout the jar. Store this in a cool sunless place and check it in a couple days. So these are the sprouts after only one day. You can see that they're already starting to germinate. What you wanna do is you want to rinse these once a day and just make sure there is no mold growth in them. So I'm gonna do that and put it back on the shelf. Day three with our microgreens, and as you can see, there's nothing going on. I did notice there was a seed right here that started to sprout. Um, it's not under the soil, so I'm not sure how viable that one's gonna be, but it's a good sign that the other one should be on their way soon. Our sprouts, on the other hand, they're actually doing pretty great. As you can see, there's tons of green. I'm probably only gonna let these go another day, maybe two, um, but let's get them rinsed up and back in their no sunlight spot. It has been five days now, and we finally have some life from the microgreens. Also day five with our sprouts, and I would say these guys are good to go. Before consuming them, give them a really, really good wash, and they should store in your fridge for at least a couple more days. There you have it. They are washed and ready to store in the fridge for up to two days, but they'll probably go pretty quickly in our household. It's now day nine, and this is what we're sitting at for microgreens. It's probably because I don't have like a light source outside of the window that they're by, but as you can see, they're not doing the greatest. And while I usually use this area for sprouting, um, they seem to not be as happy. So just wanted to show you guys an update um, so I could get this video posted, but I'm not being very helpful for eating these and we're already through all of our sprouts. So my recommendation uh, for this type of project would be try the sprouts.